You can find this pistol warm-up target on our website for free. You guys can download it and use it as you are learning new pistols or maybe brushing up on your skills if it's been a while since you've been out on the range. So on this particular pistol warm-up drill, I have two black boxes here and they're one inch by one inch. So normally what I'll do is work accuracy on these squares. And I usually do that from between five yards and seven yards. I mean, you can do it as close as three yards if you want to as you're first getting out and shooting. But the reason I'm talking about this today is I just finished shooting a box to bullseye video on the Zev Z320 X Compact pistol. And I wanna show you guys something. So I've got my Glock 19 here. We're coming back to about, this is gonna be about three yards. I am going to put five really slow rounds on the left square, and I'm just focusing on accuracy and trying to land my shots on that spot. So let's do that. All right, let's go check this out, and I wanna talk about this. I'm just gonna throw this gun down here. So as you can see, all five rounds landed on the square or very close to the square. So that's acceptable to me. If I take my time and I really slow down, I can get all of them in one jagged hole. What I have noticed with the Z320X Compact, if I aim like I aim with my Glock 19, I end up hitting straight low. And I've done a lot of testing with this and we've ruled out the fact that it's me pulling low. It's simply the nature of the iron sights and how the barrel functions on this particular pistol. So what I'm gonna do is actually aim exactly the same like I did with my Glock. With my Glock, I put my sights right here in the center and I'm landing my shots right where I'm aiming. I'm gonna put these sights right here in the center of this square and you're gonna see a nice group right about here with the Z320. And there's, there's a reason why I wanna show you guys this, but let's first shoot this. All right, let's go down range. So as you guys can tell, just like I told you, we've got a group here low. I put that front sight right here in the center, okay? The top of the front sight. Now, I'm gonna put that front sight up there and put five rounds on target. All right, let's go down range. So now it's a subtle change, but you'll notice that all of the rounds are now much closer to the center of the square. So why does this matter? Well, the whole reason behind our series Box to Bullseye is talking about me taking guns that I've never shot before out to the range without any dry firing, without any handling of the gun and simply shooting the gun and then relaying the information back to you guys. And this is super important because this is a gun that I plan to carry eventually and incorporate into my EDC. And as we get to various distances, it became extremely clear that if I shoot this gun with iron sights, just like my Glock 19, and I assume that I can just run it like my Glock 19, I was hitting a lot of my shots low. So it's just important for you guys to get out and test your gear. Don't buy a new handgun like this and assume that I'm good with my Glock 19, so I'm gonna hit really well with a Z320, P320, a 365XL, or whatever other brand of pistol you might be shooting. They're all different, and you need to spend an equal amount of time with each. And then on top of that, if you have multiple brands of pistols that shoot different like this, it may come to a point where I have to personally decide, do I carry this gun or do I carry my Glock 19? and maybe I don't want to bounce back and forth between two very different pistols. So it's just some stuff to keep in mind. I know if I put a red dot on both of them, some of this would kind of go out the window depending on my zero, but hopefully this was a little bit of information that helps you guys out as you hit the range and train with purpose so that you're a better asset to your community.